Well, hello, Sam Banks family. Uh, my name is Steve. If you are watching this video and you don't know who I am, I'm the pastor of uh, the Sam Banks Parish of the Meeting House. And this morning, we are going to engage in a form of prayer called gospel contemplation, where we use our imagination to imagine a scene from the Bible as it unfolds. And uh, we imagine it like a movie that is playing in our mind as we hear the story. I'm going to read it a couple times. Once, you're just going to watch it. Uh, the second time, I'm going to invite you to think of yourself as a character, maybe somebody watching, maybe somebody who's in the story, uh, or somebody who's just like seeing it from afar. Uh, and I'm going to encourage you to try to notice things about the story, maybe things that God's Spirit could be bringing to mind for you to notice. Gospel contemplation is a form of prayer that gets its roots from Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina is a form where you just focus on the words and maybe feelings that come up. Maybe God would bring a certain word to mind. Well, in this type of prayer, we're encouraging you to actively consider this story as if it were playing out in your mind. And we're asking God, is there something that you're supposed to notice from this passage of scripture? So, I'd just like to guide you through this time. You don't need to have the passage in front of you, but if it helps, today we're going to read from Luke chapter 22, verse 47 to 53. I'm going to read that a couple times, but let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, we call on your Spirit to enter this space with us today, to guide our time, and to use this story this story of your arrest these many years ago and we ask you to use it today to speak still into our minds and our hearts i encourage you to take a deep breath in and release that breath Take a deep breath in and count to four. One, two, three, four. And breathe out on a count of six. And continue to take a couple of deep breaths. And as you breathe, Invite God's Spirit to come and to guide you today. Now, as I read it first time, I invite you to just let the story unfold. Imagine it happening before you like a movie. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up. And the man, who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. Breathe in deep and breathe out slow. As I prepare to read a second time, 
really encourage you to think about who you might be in this story if you were a character. Are you watching it from a distance? Are you one of the disciples fully engaged? Are you one of the soldiers or the chief priest that has come along? Really notice the colors that are around you. Notice the smells in the air. I'd encourage you to notice the weather. What's the sky like? Clouded? Clear? Holy Spirit, come. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, no more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the guards, the chief priests, the officers in the temple guard, the elders who had come for him, am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. Holy Spirit, speak clearly to us. Now, as I read a last time, I encourage you to ask God, why have you shown me this thing? Why am I this character in the story? Is there one thing that you would have me notice? One thing that you would have me do as I listen to these words, as I hear you speak them, Holy Spirit, speak clearly. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up. And the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying son of man with a kiss when jesus followers saw what was going to happen they said lord should we strike with our swords one of them struck the servant of the high priest cutting off his right ear but jesus answered no more of this and he touched the man's ear and he healed him then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard and the elders who had come for him, am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts and you did not lay a hand on me, but this is your hour when darkness I encourage you to take a moment and ask God. Ask God for what you need to carry out what he's invited you to do. How has God asked you to step into the world with peace? Where is God inviting you to set down violence, set down your power and control? Holy Spirit, we pray that these things which you've brought to our mind today through this passage, this story of your arrest, that you would not let it rest in our mind, but instead 
you would continue to speak to us, to encourage us, and to give us those things we need to take that small step to become like you today so that we can be your hands and feet in the world. We pray all this in your Holy Spirit and by your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, I bless you.